Hello, Warriors. I'm here with Smooch. Hello. <laughs> and some of you asked me to record a video on how to be stall. And I guess being here with Smooch is important for that, right, Smooch? Yes. Because Smooch is, <laughs> is a, a stall player. Everybody hates him for that, right? Yeah, usually. Smooch. <laughs> Smooch, um, how would you beat Stall? Okay, so beating Stall, it's not like you don't just bring one Stall Breaker and you win. It's combinations of Pokemon that really mess Stall up. For example, with my my Wait. Gastrodon team, what? I I think first we should explain what is a Stall team. Six walls. So, okay, for example, with my... No, 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 no. what is stall and walls? Come on. <laughs> explain. Well, okay. It's hard to explain what a stall team is. It's so it's a team that's meant to stall a Pokemon out. Like, you're not supposed to beat them down. Well, so it's like tank Pokemon. Pokemon with a lot of... Uh, Defense or special defense HP and it's not necessarily true But they it's, it's it's six Pokemon that form a core that is very very hard to break through Yeah, so they usually have regeneration of moves and um, Stats moves like toxic uh, Taunt will always those things right Mm, not so much taunt, but yes. I mean, I guess you can use taunt to beat stall. Yeah, sometimes. All right. Okay, so basically, stall teams. Whatever. Are... It's it's just <laughs> it's it's a team that's hard to break, really, really hard to break, and it's usually six walls. All right. Yeah. So how would you beat stall? What would be like good stall breakers? Togekiss. It's a good Togekiss. one. Togekiss. Togekiss. So whether it be Nasty Plot or Trick, Scarf Trick, those are both really good against Stall. Uh, especially Nasty Plot. It's fucking annoying. I hate it. You're talking about Togekiss, Scarf Trick? Togekiss. Yes. Togekiss. Togekiss. But I think it, like, I prefer using it with Roost and Heal Bell. Nasty yeah, plot. that's like, that's the Stall breaking set. Yeah. In my Sun team, I use Venusaur to stall break. It doesn't work 100% of the time because, you know, Venusaur is not a god, but it usually does well with against Chansey, um, Clefable, Slowbro, Alamola, any of the water Pokemon that are stall, you know? But when they have a core with Skarmory or Ferrothon with Chansey, it's hard to break because Venusaur doesn't have 5 moves. <laughs> um, and if I use HP Fire, then I don't have Earthquake. And without Earthquake, I can't beat um, Heatran. And also, Venusaur doesn't really break a Mongoose, especially if they have a Salt Vest and Clear Smog. So, yeah, th there's no like a team that can be perfect against Stall, but you can deal with it most of, of the time, right, Smooch? Yeah, and there's no. In theory, a, th a perfect Stall team should never lose, but having a perfect stall team is impossible when there's infinite combinations that could just fuck you up. I mean, ha having a perfect team is impossible, not only stall. Stall is probably like the, the closest thing to perfect you can get though. Yeah. That's why was, it's so consistent. I was playing against g Darge, and I was trying to not uh, build a team that completely counters him because I wanted to to beat him with a sun team that could actually get leather. 
So if I build him just to counter him, I would only counter him and lose to everything else. But yeah, I, I couldn't do anything against his Amongus <coughs> until I build a team that had a Togekiss. I feel like Togekiss is a Pokemon that can stall break everything. Like, tell me <coughs> what core Togekiss can't beat. Spadef Clefable, unless you're insanely lucky. Well, I beat him. I just had to flinch him two times. Well, yeah, but like, especially defensive Clefable, you have to do it like six times. Oh, who does that? Who does special defensive? Uh, depends. What else would be a really threat for stalls in general? I guess. It's not in pro yet, but Hoopa Unbound. <laughs> God, that thing is so fucking annoying. We it's, were... it, it comes out and it's like, oh, what do I sack now? We don't need to talk about it right now because it's not. Even... <laughs> but I would say, uh, Poison and Steel Pokemon. Toxicroak is a good one. Yeah, poison and Steel Pokemon that can set up are usually very good against Stall because Stalls rely a lot on Toxic and healing themselves, but they can't do that against a, a Poison or Steel Pokemon that can set up. For example, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ladder tomorrow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run into a team that's like Toxicroak, Togekiss. Calm Mind, Taunt, Chandelure. Oh my god. I remember when I used to play <laughs> other tournaments and I would only match against Heatrons. Like, there was no team that wouldn't have a Heatron against me. And that was too boring to deal with, so I, I don't play yeah, actually, other tournaments anymore. I actually used to count all the games I had Heatron when I played in a ladder tournament. I think it was something like. 42 out of 48 of all my matches in ladder tournament history have had a Heatran. <laughs> but you, it was also the time... Because Heatran's, Heatran's good against stall, usually. Uh, well, it was also against... Uh, it was also the time when Dugtrue with Arena Trap was banned and Nalolan Golem didn't exist. Not even any other Pokemon like Diancid everything that could actually beat Heatran, you know? So, uh, Manaphy is also a very good stall breaker uh, with Rain Dance because, you know, they can't toxic you if the rain is up. Yeah. But, like, you can't use Rest, right? You have to use Tail Glow, Rain Dance, Ice Bee, and Surf. Yeah. Clefable beats it if it comes in immediately on it. Yeah. Clefable can easily uh, stall out the, the rain turns, but Unless usually what people frozen. do is just go for the fucking freeze. Yeah, yeah. yeah call, call me Fumes, Zek. Remember yeah. that? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yes. Um, what else? So Caesar with Swords Dance or Excadrill... They beat Stall as well. I mean, usually, right? Uh, Mold Breaker Exodrill with Sword Stance is really good against Stall, but uh, usually I always run Tangrowth. Hmm. Okay. What about Gliscor with Sword Stance and Facade? Uh, Clefable always beats that, but Gliscor with uh Taunt Toxic—that's really annoying. Oh my gosh, yes! Toxic. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the move. I mean, yeah, like Glasscore with Toxic is perfect to beat Stall. I mean, well, my answer to it is Tangrowth because uh, it, it, it can always come in, it has HP Ice, and if they roost, I Leaf Storm and they die, so. Okay. Fair. Um, Conkelder. What would beat Conkelder install? How would you deal with Conkelder? Uh, well, on my other, on the Muck stall team, what you do is you go Alomomola, you wish, and you go hard Clefable. 
and then you're basically at full against the Conk Elder, so it has to switch. Alright, so just to end this, uh, the key to be stall is not really having a team full of stall breakers, right? You need to have a core that can break stalls, and it's not necessarily just six stall breakers, right? Yeah, like, okay, for example, that I was going to make before, my, uh, my Gastrodon team, so my, my Gengar answer is my Gastrodon, and my Weavile answer is my Skarmory, and if there's only one of those on a team, I deal with it perfectly fine, but if there's both on the same team, like Weavile, or, yeah, Weavile and Gengar, then it's a lot harder, because it's a lot easier to, well, one, Pursuit Trap, and then to abuse the weakness that I have, you know? Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain, but it's it's more combinations that really fuck up Saul rather than just a single Pokemon. Yeah. So sometimes I like to use Venusaur and Alolan Golan in my team because Venusaur uh, beats Chansey, but it doesn't do anything if the team have like Chansey and the Ferrothon or a Skarmory because my Venusaur doesn't use HP Fire. So if I have a Lolan Golan, I can trap Skarmory or Ferrothon, kill them, and then sweep with Venusaur. <laughs> you don't trap Skarmory if you're mine. Okay, if you're a good stall player, you use Shed Shell on Skarmory. Okay. If you're not using Shed Shell Skarmory, you're a disgrace. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. That was mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking if I should use my HP Fire Venusaur and just use Alolan Golan to trap uh, Heatrans. Should I do that? Possibly. Or... I don't know. Maybe I should keep... Earthquake because people are starting to use Chandler a lot. But anyway, I guess that's it. Do you have anything else to say, Smooch, about this? Uh oh, there's something I wanted to say. Yo, dude, I can't wait for sub <laughs> Okay. People, that's another thing. People keep saying like substitutes gonna make stall worse. It's <laughs> that's a funny joke, bro. Well, it will give stall <laughs> some trouble. Cause of course, but so it doesn't make it worse at all. Yeah, I mean it's just another move you have to account for. It's not it's not something that like it's like oh shit, he has substitute to lose. <laughs> Maybe because your team don't have damage. I don't want to have a Kyurem on it. Okay. That's why I can't wait for sub Kyurem. That's, that's going to be my answer My answer to everything. No, I'm not playing Pro in 2. Lando I get banned, so whatever. I don't yeah, care. Can we ban Lando I, please? Thanks. Yeah. Fucking broken ass Pokemon. But anyway, fuck that. The video is about stall. And I guess we're done, right? Yeah. Okay, if... If you guys have any questions about stall, about how to beat it, about how to use stall, just leave in the comments and maybe I will make a part two. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching and also thanks donators Raika, Ice Flake, Crosbell, and Finland Guy. I still don't know if you are donating, but thank you anyway. So, goodbye. <laughs>